Hello and welcome back to Deep Dive into Design Space Part 3. Today we're going to be going over the shapes functions. So shapes, there are obviously many shapes here. These are the standard shapes that come with Cricut Design Space. So we're going to just pull up a square. Squares are super easy to work with. Uh, you'll probably use squares at least a little bit while making projects in design space. However, I would say that most of the time you're going to want to design your project or your, your image in another program such as Corel Draw or even look up the image on Google Images rather than actually making things in design space. But if you are in need of just a square or a simple shape, design space is the way to go. All right. So getting started here with the shape, there are obviously many things we can do with shapes. So first we can switch the line types. Almost always you will all use cut. However, these other line types we'll go into later. Just switch the line type by clicking up here and doing line type. Fill, you can either have it print and then you can select a color. So this would print a red box and then cut the red box out. We don't want to do that in most cases, especially if you're making, you know, well, if you're printing and then cutting something, then do it. If you're not printing and cutting, don't do it. So I'd say 99% of the projects I make don't print and cut. All right. Just cut. All right. You can edit by copying, pasting, cutting. You can flip the object. It doesn't make, it doesn't look like it's actually doing anything, but let's say it was on its side and we flipped it vertically. It would flip vertically or flip horizontally. It would flip horizontally. The size function. All right, we'll talk about the rotate function right now since we used it. So this button here rotates your image. So you can rotate it to different sizes or, or shapes. Oh, sorry, that's the wrong thing. So just rotate it doing that. You can also rotate it by entering a number. So we'll enter zero degrees. This is in degrees between one and 365. You can also enter negative degrees and it'll just subtract it from 365 and that works very well. For the size function, you can plug in a manual size. So let's plug in four. So let's say you no longer want it to be a perfect square. Click this unlock, and now you can do four by six, and now you have a rectangle. This unlock keeps the proportions. It either locks the proportions, and then it moves proportionally, or you unlock proportions, and it'll move um, unproportionally, so you can edit the size of it. Um, speaking of this, we're now using this green arrow function, which allows us to edit the size of and shape if unlocked. However, once it's locked, it's just the two arrows and it will only adjust the, the size. Also, you can select the position. I always like to do my positions at one comma one for the starting object of every sequence. So this is the shapes function in Cricut Design Space. I hope that you guys learned pretty much everything you need to know about the, the shapes function. Obviously, there are many more shapes you can use. Just wanted to keep this short and quick. It's super easy to use. Remember, you can just flip horizontally, vertically, um, the whole nine yards, rotate, resize, whatever you like. Thank you guys for watching, and good luck.